All right. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. Hey, how you doing? Ancient China and introduction. We're going to start off just like the other ones with a little bit of geography. However, I would like to give you this name um, for... Oh, no, never mind. Not going to do that. Not going to do that. Change my mind. Hold on. There we go. Civilization in China developed along the fertile Wanghe, sometimes called the Yellow River, over 4,000 years ago. It's nicknamed the Wanghe because of the fertile soil that would deposit it had sort of a yellowish tint to it sometimes. That's why. Uh, this Wanghe River is also has another name in ancient China. It is oftentimes referred to as China's sorrow. Uh, it was pretty erratic flooding, could cause destruction. Uh, to in devastation to the civilization. Settlements start around 5000 BC. We're not going to talk about the earliest of the early ones. We're going to focus most of our attention on two dynastic families here that we need to talk about. Not real in depth with either of them, but we need to know about them. the Shang and the Zhou dynasty today. And then later on in the year, we get to talk about the Qin dynasty and then the Han dynasty. So these two for today, basically. All right, so as far as rule, politics, government, that sort of thing, early China was ruled by a series of dynastic families. Powerful, oftentimes warring families that would compete for the control of China. And this goes back a long way. We're going to talk about the Shang and the Western and Eastern Zhou dynasties today. So... Shang Dynasty, settled on the banks of the Wanghe, 1532 to 1027, so that's a 500 plus year run. First family of Chinese rulers to leave written records, that's why we're looking at them. Uh, they are considered by some historians, not all, the first true Chinese civilization. Uh, they're remembered for a lot of their advancements in culture and technology, notwithstanding the written pictographic records before. Geographic written script to keep track of taxes, rent, etc. We see this all the time in ancient river valley civilizations. Just, hey, China's doing it too. Later on, the Zhou Dynasty. On the banks of the Wanghe. Strong rulers due to a new ruling idea, the Mandate of Heaven. If you ever see this word, Mandate, it means that something is... Dun, 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 dun. Mandatory! Uh, you have to do it. So, what is this mandate of heaven? Okay? So, basically says that if a ruler was just, if you had a dynasty that was in charge and they were just and fair rulers, they had the authority not to rule just because they were powerful military conquerors, but they have the rule from the gods. Uh, China was polytheistic, uh, much like... Uh, many of the other early civilizations that we're going to discuss in this class. So, once again, even think of Hammurabi and his law code that we saw in class the other day. It was received from a god, and therefore if you violate these rules, you're not just violating Hammurabi's rules, you're violating the gods. If your rulers are just, and you try to overthrow them, then you are violating this mandate of heaven. Now, let's go back a slide and say, well, two slides, sorry, and you say, well, wait a minute here, how can we have all these different, you know, dynasties that develop if, you know, they feel like, oh, well, you know, the gods are giving them the power to rule? Well, that's the thing, is oftentimes when you see a new dynasty develop, um, it's because they feel that the old dynasty is not doing this. Okay, that they aren't being just, and they need to be overthrown. Okay, We have several military advancements, including the crossbow and heavy cavalry. And you have a lot of technological advancements during the Zhou Dynasty. Okay, I will know in class who actually listened to this presentation and didn't just write stuff down, because you will come in and ask me about the Zhu Dynasty. It's the Zhou Dynasty. Iron plows, better irrigation, better roads for trade. Okay? There you go. Uh, that's just a quick, a brief introduction to these two dynasties. We're going to discuss them more in class and take a look at some documents on them and take a look at uh, philosophies that develop there as well. Thanks for listening. Peace.